Okay, we have one final game, our Monday night football game. It's going to be a tightly contested NFC West matchup that I think the perfect person to start off this analysis is the co-host of the Red Reigns podcast, uh, my own co-host here, Kyle Ledbetter. The Cardinals going against the Los Angeles Rams. Obviously, we saw this matchup before, and the Cardinals dismantled the Rams the last time they played. What can we expect in the second go round? Yes, uh, I, I don't pretend to be any like significant Cardinals expert, but I do produce an Arizona Cardinals podcast for SB Nation, which you should check out. It's the it's available with the link on all of my social medias and stuff. It is very good. Uh, Walter Mitchell is very informed when it comes to the Arizona Cardinals. This is an interesting game because Arizona has been really, really good on the road this year. And at home is where they've been the most vulnerable. Obviously, Arizona has the best record in the NFL this year. So that's only, you know, only goes so far at this point. But I do believe, I do believe the Arizona Cardinals have a good running game this year with James Conner uh, that is much improved than this year. I think James Conner led the league in rushing touchdowns at one point earlier this season. So that's something that's, very much improved for them over the past few weeks. I, I do think going into this game, the Rams are going to have two big issues going into this. And one of them is running backs because it looks like it's going to be Sony Michelle again for them this week. And they were able to survive that by playing. They played someone bad last week. Oh, they played the Jaguars. You can obviously, you know, anyone can move the ball on the Jaguars. Um, the Cardinals rushing defense has been quite strong so far this year. So I think, that the running game is going to be a problem for the Rams. But the thing I've been talking about for weeks is that the Rams have been the anti McVay Rams this year. They've just, they've taken the personnel they have and just abandoned everything we used to think we knew about a Sean McVay team, which is commitment to running the football, commitment to zone running schemes, dominating time of possession, uh, offense holds the ball as long as they can. They have not done that this year. They've retooled the team. They have brought in obviously Stafford for Goff. They uh, lost Cam Akers at the start of the season. Daryl Henderson has been battling injuries. They have all these weapons at wide receiver. Just add Odell Beckham Jr. a couple weeks ago. Obviously lose Robert Woods, but substitute Van Jefferson and Odell into the Robert Woods role. And that's how they replicate the offense. They've actually not held the ball as much as their opponents this year. All of this is to say that's going to be a problem against the Cardinals because the Cardinals have been really, really good in the secondary this year. And it's with it's weird because it's with names we've always known. Robert Alford, Byron Murphy, Jalen Thompson, guys that we've heard of for years. And now all of a sudden they're all making these gigantic leaps as the Arizona Cardinals as a team make a gigantic leap from being, you know, number one pick in the draft three years ago or number one pick in the draft to now best record in the NFL. Obviously, you have to find some diamonds in the rough to make such a jump, and that will be concerning for the Los Angeles Rams. With that being said, I think Los Angeles is going to win this week. I am taking the Rams to win against the Arizona Cardinals in Arizona this week and create a tie at the top of the NFC West. This is a very interesting matchup because Arizona has a chance to lock up the division effectively if they win this game. That is an interesting note going into this one. And I was looking over the drive charts for the uh, Cardinals versus Rams in the last time they played. It looks like the Cardinals were able to benefit off 21 points off of turnovers in their last game against the Rams as they turned a Matthew Stafford interception into a touchdown. They turned a fumble into a touchdown. They turned a missed field goal into a touchdown. So the touchdown luck was definitely on the Cardinals side the last two times these teams went against each other. And for the sake of adding intrigue here and some gamesmanship here, I will go against you. I, I will take the, the Cardinals in this game against the Rams as I think they will be able to force some Matthew Stafford turnovers at some point in this game. One thing that Matthew Stafford has been turning into has been somewhat of a turnover machine. He's just been in these big games, these primetime games in particular, and he is struggling in them. He is struggling to survive in the LA spotlight as these games start to mean a little bit more. And playing 11 a.m. against the Jacksonville Jaguars, that will sure, certainly help you get your mind right. But coming off of a three-game losing streak where they played a Sunday night, they played a Monday night, and I believe they also had another primetime outing in there, right? They, against, they were on America's Game of the Week against the Packers. Yeah, those are easily games in which uh, you would expect uh, Matthew Stafford, quarterback that they've replaced Jared Goff with, to be able to produce. But 
he just hasn't been able to do that for the Rams. And yes, maybe I'm putting too much on him in itself as I go into this game, but you have to start showing me that you can be that guy at some point in the season. I just don't think it's going to be this week. As we saw this past week for the Cardinals, Kyler Murray, he looks healthy. A healthy Kyler Murray, I will take that, I, especially against this Rams defense that has also started to regress at this point in the season. You, again, mentioned the stars and scrub strategy. I think that we're starting to see those scrubs become a little bit too relevant in the Rams games plans over the last few weeks. And I think that Cardinals are the healthiest they've been in weeks. I think that they will be more than happy to take advantage of that. And they're going to create some matchup advantages here. So, yes, I will confidently go with the Cardinals in this game against the Rams. You got the Rams, even though you produce a Cardinals podcast. Man, they got to hate you. I'm going to send this to them. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. The, they're, they're fine with it, I think. I don't know. I've been, no, I've been you, generally you, you, pro you got to be objective. I, I've picked against it, the Niners it, this year. So, it I've been generally pro Cardinals at this point. I don't know who's better between the Cardinals and Rams. I, if, if I told them that, they'd be like, what do you mean? We beat them. We're 10 and two. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, come on. Ram, yeah. Rams have all these talented stars all over the roster. And you guys are the Cardinals. <laughs> Even though the Cardinals have the number one record in the conference, I still see a scenario where they lose in the second round of the playoffs. How about wild card? They could end up the five seed and have to play the Cowboys. At the moment, if they can avoid that, I guess it, it starts with you winning this game here that they are in the driver's seat right now, unless they tie with the Packers. Uh, the Packers, I believe, have a slightly more favorable schedule. Let's see what the Cardinals close out the season with. Cardinals. All right, let me see if I can get this off the top of my head because I've looked at it before. So I know they still play the Seahawks. Uh, I think they've played the 49ers twice, so they're done there. They played the they've Colts, got... yep, Cowboys, on... Lions. <laughs> okay, yep. so out the gate here, they have – a win against the Lions. I'm just going to mark that. Fair enough. Against the Seahawks on a closing week. Now, I guess that also depends on do they have it locked up or not. At that if point. they've already locked it up, then this conversation doesn't matter because they'll already have the one seed. But to do that, I guess you'd have to almost go 3-0 and in this stretch against the Rams, Lions, and Colts to lock it up. And then the it's Cowboys doable. and the Seahawks game kind of become a little less relevant. It is very much doable. The Cardinals are a very good football team. Okay, well, it starts with a Monday night victory. So as much as I hate saying this, because it still is going for a division rival. Cardinals, I have faith in you. Cliff Kingsbury, come on. Come back, coach of the year, whatever it is for you. Glad you didn't take the Oklahoma job. Congratulations, (laughs) Brett Venable. 